Welcome to Grey Mason Gaming plays Dungeons and Dragons, fifth edition. I've been playing. I played Dungeons and Dragons back when I was uh, ten, ten years old, the original, like nineteen eighties, and um, I played Baldur's Gate three a little bit. I'm like, oh, you know what? This looks. This is fun. Let me see what it's like. Um, and so I was checking out to see what the options were. <clears throat> Picked up a copy of the player's manual, player's got handbook rather. Um, went over here to D and D Beyond, created a little Gray Mason character. We'll go through in a second, and um, you know, let's do a one shot. So those that aren't familiar, a lot of the, the tabletop role playing games you have campaigns, uh, but you can also do things called one shots. And this is uh, there's a place called Start Playing where you can just sign up. Um, and I was uh, early bird, so. I don't really want to pay money for it, but I'm like, all right, 10 bucks, whatever. Um, the night of entertainment. So I'm going to be going on the Sands of, of Oblivion. Um, it's going to be using the Foundry virtual tabletop and Discord. Um, we'll be using the D&D Beyond character sheet. Um, and here's what it says. Dark clouds swirl over up here. Yeah, I'm not going to read that. Just fucking, it's it's going to be an adventure. Um, and, and so it's got this professional game master, um, I guess. Um, he says he's, like, good. Let's find out if he is. Um, and I'm going to do a quick review of my sheet, my character. So a lot of times, again, you start at level 1. This is, starts at level 7. I've done a little homework, and uh, I, I uh, played a warlock in World of Warcraft, played one in Baldur's Gate 3, so I'm like, let's try a warlock. Um, they're spellcasters, they like charisma, so I boosted up my charisma. Um, I boosted up my constitution, because <clears throat> there are some spells, there are concentration spells in Dungeons & Dragons, and you have to do a constitution check, and I don't want my constitution my concentration on those spells broken. So the, some of the spells, I have one called Vampiric Touch. I have one called Hex. And I don't want, oh, do I have any other concentration ones? I should be able to tell. Like, where do I see that? I can't tell from this, li this list, but I, I know those two. Um, I think Magic Circle might also be Concentration. That doesn't say that it is. Anyway, so I wanted my Constitution so I don't screw up my my Concentration. I wanted my Constitution high to not mess up Concentration. Don't care about Strength. Dexterity was my next one because it will give me higher initiative. And then also, I'm not going to wear Armor because one of the traits I got gets me ability. It's an Eldritch Invocation, which is a Warlock specialty you can go into and uh, gives me mage armor so normally i have this, i would just have 11 armor class so on a rolling a 1 to 20 a monster's needs to roll an 11 but if i use mage armor which i can do at will that lasts for eight hours i'll get base 13 plus my dexterity modifier which is going to be one so i'll get i'll be at 14 and that's better than if i just put on leather armor so uh, so that was my logic in what um, I want charisma because it's for my spell casting. I want constitution because it helps my spell casting and then dexterity because it helps me um, attack sooner and a little bit with defense. Um, let's see. I don't know how much the languages are gonna matter. Um, Let's go through. Let's go through features and traits first. So I'm a warlock. <clears throat> I picked the proficiency of deception in Arcana. Um, you pick a patron. So the whole thing with the warlock is you get your power from uh, packed with a some other force. And there's in the player's handbook. There's three choices. Um, I thought the fiend looked like the most common one because you get fireball and all these fire spells. And I'm like, ah, eh, this great one sounded kind of cool to me. So I went with that. We'll see below what that what that gives me. But um, again, so my packed magic. So I start 
You can cast known warlock spells using charisma as your modifier. Um, I can use arcane focus for whatever. All right, so I get two extra spells added um, that are specific to that entity. That, and then I also have this thing called Awakened Mind. And this is kind of why I picked it. Plus, I thought one of the spe other spells was cool. Um, so I can telepathically speak to any creature you can see within 30 feet of you if it understands at least one language. So I feel like <clears throat> with a high deception, which I have plus eight. So plus eight deception, plus being able to t uh, telepathically talk to any creature, even if I didn't speak the language to me seems like a really cool like role playing and uh, way to potentially avoid fights or um, do things that aren't just battling. Um, now the Eldric invocations, you think you start getting a level two I, and you get two of them or you get them a level three, something like that. But at level seven, you have four um, and there's like 20 or 30 choice. There's a ton of choices. What I picked was um, you have so you have cantrips that you can always spell, always cast. There's just magic that you can always cast. And then you have spells. There's a warlock. I only get two spell slots. And then I can sport, sh do a short rest, which is like an hour rest, and get to, get get those back. So Agonizing Blast, when I cast my Eldritch Blast, which is my cantrip, I add five to the damage that it deals because it's based on my um, charisma modifier. I can cast Mage Armor on myself without expending a spell slot. So that's where I'm like, okay, let's get the Mage Armor. Um, beast Speak, I can speak with animals at will. So I can speak to anything that creates, anything that speaks a language, but I can also speak to any beast. So basically, like anything we encounter, I should be able to talk to it. Um, and then Repelling Blast. So when I hit a creature with my, my Cantrip Eldric Blast, I can push back 10 feet. In a straight line. So if there's like on a on a cliff or something, I should be able to do that. Now you also get um, a boon, a packed boon. Um, I think that's at level three. And I did the pact of the chain because I so I can get a fine familiar, and it's going to allow me to get. Um, normally you can get a familiar that could be like a cat, a rat, a scorpion, a I don't know, kind of lame things like not great like they're more like utility but with this you can actually get like an imp or like a little pseudo dragon or something like that that are legit like they'll fight with you and do do things so um so i went with that and uh the last thing was i got was the entropic ward so once per short rest when a creature makes an attack roll against you i can use my reaction to impose disadvantage which means they have to roll twice and to take the worst of the two um, and if it misses me my next attack against them has advantage which means i roll two i take the better of the two so that seems pretty cool um, i'll get dark vision so i can see 60 feet in the dark because I am a tiefling warlock, I have all that's because my tiefling, my race. I also have uh, resistance to fire damage. Um, and then I also will have uh, this, what do you call it? Thamaturgy, which is like, I guess, like flavor. So I can boom my voice, make my eyes flicker. I, I don't know exactly how I'll use that. But then I can also, once per long rest, do hellish rebu rebuke. Which is if I get attacked, I can like do two to twenty damage back to my attacker. So that seems pretty cool. And actually, I think I would do three to thirty because it would be at a higher level. Um, and then I can also cast darkness, which um, just makes things dark. So those are all coming from my race and traits. Inventory almost doesn't matter because I won't use any of this because I'm a caster. And then my spells. Here's my cantrips. I can do these as much as I want. My main one is going to be this Eldric Blast, so I can take an action. I will do a total two beams. Do I shoot? Does it shoot twice? Total two beams. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Um, but you basically, I do one d10 plus my my um, charisma modifier. So you'll see that's the 1d10 plus 5 with a place plus 8 to hit. Um, 
I can also do another attack, which is not as much damage. It's only 1d8, or actually 2d8. Um, but what it, the, the, the good thing about this is that if there's a, uh, an enemy that has a, a health regen, um, this will, it can't regen hit points. So I can stop healing. So I can either stop healing or I can just do more damage. I have a mage hand, which is like this magical hand <clears throat> that can do things. And then uh, those are my cantrips. The spells, I have this mage armor and speak with animals, which I can do at will. I can do darkness and hellish rebuke as reactions, or yeah, that is a reaction. And then these are all, they're marked fourth level because I would always cast upcast them because you only get two spell slots. That's the way warlocks work different than sorcerers and wizards. And um, first is another reaction counter spell. So when a creature tries to cast a spell at me, or a spell at any, just to cast a spell, I can just, like, nope it. So I can nope if there's some, some really big spell. I haven't used my spell slots. I can use Dissonant Whispers, which um, I can whisper a melody that one creature in range can hear me that'll do, in this case now, 66. It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. <clears throat> they have to make a Wisdom Saving Throw of 16. Now, that's not good. And I can also do this spell called Hex. And Hex is interesting because it's a bonus action. So you get an action and a bonus action. So I could do this bonus action and <clears throat> and Hex them, which will make any subsequent attack while, it's, while I'm concentrating on it, do an extra 1d6. And I can make them, when they cast it, I, they have to do a disadvantage on ability checks made with my chosen ability so i think i can do that with wisdom making like my dissonant whispers instead of needing 16 they need a 20 or no they roll 16 with disadvantage so that seems like that would really help of course that would use both of my spell slots um so i would basically just <laughs> hello good night i would basically hex do dissonant whispers nuke something and then just do my Eldritch Blast the rest, until I can short rest again. <clears throat> Another cool thing I can do, and this is a level 4 spell, is I squirming ebony tentacles fill a 20-foot square on the ground that you can see within range. For the duration, which is up to one minute, each turn is 6 seconds, so that would be 10 rounds of combat, um, would turn into difficult terrain to move through, which lowers people's movement, or enemies' movement speed or I guess our team's movement speed. Um, it's a concentration spell again. And when they enter the area for the first time, or they have to make a dexterity throw or take 3d6 damage, um, it restrains them so they can't move. If they start there in their turn and they're already restrained, um, they take 3d6 damage. Um, they can use, make a strength or dexterity check to try to free itself. <clears throat> so I get this 20 foot wide area. It does half as much damage as my Dissonant Whisper, but I could get like eight things in it with this tentacles like chomping at them, beating them up. And if they get stuck and miss their saving throws and the next round it hits them again and the next round it hits them again. <clears throat> so this is my AOE nuke spell. Um, so that's pretty cool. Another one I got was fear. So, um, Again, I, for me, I cast, um, and for up to 10 rounds, people are afraid of me. They drop their weapons and have to move away from me. And uh, so, again, it's an AoE. If I get, like, even just half the, a bunch of people and just half of them go away, um, it'll help our, our party. So that seems like a good like crowd control um, ability. The Find Familiar I can do as a ritual spell, which means out of combat, and it doesn't use a spell slot, so I'll have my Imp up with me. We talked about Hex, which is a, a bonus action that um, <clears throat> makes every subsequent attack do another bit of damage, but more importantly, it lowers their um, resistance. Magic Circle is an interesting one. I create a 10-foot radius, 20-foot tall cylinder of magical energy centered on a point on the ground that I can see, glowing ruins appear, 
and uh, I choose one of the following types of creatures. So if we see celestials, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead. And on this one, it's Egypt. I'm guessing we're going to run into some undead. Um, it affects an area in, in these ways. I, if let's say it's undead, I say, okay, I'm doing this circle for undead. The creatures can't willingly enter the cylinder by any non-magical means. If the creature tries to use teleportation or whatever, it has to do a saving throw. The creatures have disadvantage on attack rolls against targets within the cylinder. So I could protect my whole party if we're in the, in the cylinder. Targets within the cylinder can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. And when I cast it, I can elect to do it so it does reverse, preventing creatures from leaving the cylinder and protecting everyone outside. So if, if there's a clump of them, I could just cylinder them and trap them in place. So that seems like another good crowd control. There's no damage, but it's a defensive spell. <clears throat> Misty Step, with all these other cool spells, I can't fathom using it. But I feel, figure it's a good utility spell to basically teleport up to 30 feet away. And this one I'm hoping I get a chance to use. So let's say I'm beaten up. If I <clears throat> cast this on myself, um, I can then siphon life force from others to heal my wounds. I make a melee attack against a creature within reach. And if I hit them, the target takes 3d6 necrotic damage and I regain hit points equal to half of the damage I deal so and actually in this case it would be more it would be so I still get I get plus eight <clears throat> because it would use my magic damage and I would do 46 every round and I would heal for half of what I do so that seems really good too um, so I just have to remember all this crap um, I res I'm resistant to fire I don't know. There's a lot to keep track of. Hopefully I can keep track of it all. But I just wanted to run through before the game started um, what all my possibilities are. Um, we'll go from there. Dark clouds swirl overhead. The powerful cold winds pierce your clothing. You find the center of this storm, and a pyramid sits before you. You and your partner are confident that this is the source of the necromancy that has plagued your homes. You all worked hard and together to get to this location. Together, between you and your partner, we must find, destroy, or undo whatever it is that is plaguing our lands with undead. And with that, let's give a small introduction to each other's characters. Uh, Ray Mason, why don't you go ahead? Sure. Um, I am a tiefling warlock who uh, has gotten the powers from the old old god what is it the great old one and mm -hmm. uh on a mission to uh right some wrongs and this is along the path i need to go okay all right um anderson i believe is your character's name yeah but you haven't updated it oh okay i'll do that right now <laughs> Just about done. There you go. Should be all set for you. Okay, one. Playing Anderson. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, set all. Yeah, it should be all set up. <coughs> My character's name is Anderson Grizzly Guard, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'm a knight playing a knight. <laughs> 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 oh. 
Alrighty. Uh, with that being the case, uh, do you see where on the bottom left where it says uh, Sands of Oblivion of your token? Yes. Go ahead and click on that. You may have to click your token once, but otherwise it should teleport you. Uh, things for you should be essentially black and white, as you do have dark vision. Yes. Except for uh, the corner there. Yep. Alrighty. So we're going to start out at, basically in this uh, ruined ruined house. <clears throat> and uh, the destination of where this uh, pyramid is, is outside, taking a right, and it's northeast of the map. Okay. You should have freedom of movement, unless if you have any questions. So we're at the northeast section of the map? Uh, north is straight up, east is uh, completely to the right. Okay. All right, so if I wanted to cast my familiar, I should probably just go ahead and do that now. Yeah, well, what animal would that be? Uh, an imp. Imp, okay. Let's just get that out of the way before I forget. That is fair. <laughs> All right, so I click on it. Hmm? Oh, I see. Okay. Do I have to? Is it just with me now, or? Yep. Okay. All right. Lead the way, big man. Me lead. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh no, my little fog's worry. I'm setting. Oh, I can do that real quick here. <laughs> There you go. I have dark vision, you know. Do you? This time, my dear. Would you do <laughs> custom lineage this time? Yeah. <laughs> That'd explain it. All right. How far? 30 feet? 60 feet? 60. All right. 60 feet of dark vision. There you go. Yeah, now we can see things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go away, Microsoft Store. Don't so those, care about you. those two little skeleton are those bad things? They are bad. They are essentially standing guard here. I'm gonna make Reed Jester's at them. You're gonna what? <laughs> make rude gestures. Oh, rude gestures. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> and is that like a doorway behind them? That is a statue. Yes. Hmm. But there is like a uh, alcove. Well, that's the word. Could be the word for you. All right. Shall we? Yeah. Shall we kill them? Why wouldn't we? We're here to stop a necromancer, my dude. So you don't want to kill him? We we have to stop a necromancer, so pretty sure they're uh <coughs> made by the necromancer. Alright. So mm -hmm. let's open this up. I, I can I just let's just do a Eldritch blast here. So I click on him, I hit T to target. I'm gonna hit the one on the right. All right. Yep. I'm going to take a few steps forward. All right. Ready? Yep. Yep. And that's just normal. <coughs> um, yeah. Impressive. 
<laughs> that one. Lovely. Don't, don't feel bad. We all hate this foundry because of this. It's good and to get then, out of the way early. It is. And with that being the case, uh, time for initiative. Let's see here. <laughs> all right. So to do initiative, there's a couple ways that you can do it. You can do it through your character sheet by clicking the initiative button where it says initiative. Uh, it's going to be next to your movement under you where it says proficiency for you. Oh, I see it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Really? All right, you go first. I'm going to change my color real quick. <laughs> that that might be it, because I'm this gross yellow. <laughs> gross yellow. <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> In combat. All right. And with this... This is the one that essentially that you shot at. Da, da, da. All right, it is going to have its uh, broken shield and its broken longsword at the ready as it starts charging. It's it, going to go after the warlock. It will only get to there. Why? Sentinel, pull our master. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> I'm stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make a hit. Roll to hit. Oh, you want big numbers. I see. Okay. <laughs> 20. Yeah, that's night piercing. All right. All right. And rest of its movement has been reduced to zero. All right. Otherwise, that's it for you. Yep. Hmm. Alrighty. <laughs> With that being the case, this other one's gonna actually run right up to you then. Yeah, that's probably pretty fine. I can't do another one of those. Yeah, it takes up your reaction. <laughs> Here comes a slash! What shall this. 11? No. Probably not. I didn't think so. Well, that's all that it can do. Yeah. <laughs> Swap my targeting out. Mm hmm. Stab. Ooh. Stab has failed. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll stab again. What'd I do? <laughs> Dirty 20, yeah, that'll hit. 10 points? Wow. Now I'm going to look at him and go, hey. <laughs> Bonus action. <laughs> 18, yeah, that'll hit. Six points of blood drain. Well, seeing as how it's blood drain, it's maximized damage, so that's nine points right there. That thing is no more. And I'll take one step back. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna look at him. <laughs> yes, you can see the skeleton who is not intelligent, but you can see a spirit behind him going, Really? Really? <laughs> I'm gonna continue with my rear gestures and call it a turn. Fair enough. Grey Mason, your turn. Alright, so how does my imp attack? Uh, should be... Uh... It will be essentially after your turn, because I believe it doesn't require any commands besides men mentally. Okay. All right, so first thing, let me just go ahead and just scoot behind my friend here. Uh-huh. And then we'll just, just save some spells and let's do another Eldritch Blast. All right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, hmm. if you're above, like, level five, you get two of those guys. Oh, do I? Two of what? Eldritch Blasts. Uh, I believe so. Oh. Good. Oh, okay. That's good. So wait, so then damage, just normal? Yep. 24 is going to hit with 9 points. Yeah, that's going to take him out. Okay. Just see the head just go flying. 
All right. Anything else? Guess that's it. All right. And that's <coughs> the end of combat. You have freedom of movement. You can also uh, control your imp, too, if you'd like. Or I can do it for you. But oh, where, where is he? Should be right behind you. Or uh, now beside you. He is considered small. Oh, I don't see him. Oh, you don't. Okay, here, let me try this, then. That's sometimes a thing that does occur from time to time. I thought maybe Oop. he went invisible. Oh, oh there my he is. god. Put a green bar on him to help. That, I see him now. Okay. Cool. So, do you, like, how do you loot? Do you, like, just go up to it and... Go up to it, fiddle around in its pockets. <laughs> Let your DM know that you're looking to loot. Okay. So I guess we'll check to see if these guys have anything. Um, five arrows for a short bow. The short bow is pretty worn. And a broken long sword that can be uh, used as a short sword. Yeah, nothing for me. All right. <laughs> so... Oh, you know what? So if I move him... Can we, I send my imp in here look in case there's any traps or anything. Okay. You don't see no traps. Good way of doing things. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you see through him? Um, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Alrighty. Anything going on <laughs> with this little altar thing, or just a decorative... Uh, the statue is that of a centaur. Hmm, okay. Otherwise, there's nothing else special to note. <clears throat> oh, I think I found a bad guy. Found a bad guy. Yeah. Where's it? Where? Oh, that's you. <laughs> I know. You, my, looked, you my... looked ugly in the darkness. I... <laughs> my frightening appearance here. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was chasing me. <laughs> uh, I can't go in the room. Can't go in the oh, room. Oh, no, I can. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Bring you back a little bit here. That point is a triggering point to okay. which you can see on the uh, other side of the of uh, essentially this little hallway of a sarcophagus. The uh, lid of it does fall forward to which you now can see a mummy that has made its appearance. Okay. Time for a new initiative. Never seen someone roll a zero. Does that just mean their turn is forfeit? <laughs> they just can't go. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? I would. <laughs> Great, Mason. You get to start us out. All right. So first of all, we're gonna go ahead and back. Oops. Back up a little bit. Can I? Oh, it says game pause. Do I? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Someone keeps forgetting about that. So. All right, so we're just going to back up here so there's room to get around me. Uh -huh. and, um, we'll just keep target him. And is there, Do we know how much health they have? Or we just... do not. Okay. We do not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they drop when they drop. Okay. Yep. So the first that's the fun one. thing about them. 16? Yeah, that's going to hit. <laughs> Ooh, six points. And it has the, where it shoots him back ten feet, but obviously he's up against a wall, so it just doesn't matter. <laughs> Fourteen, that'll hit as well. <laughs> oh my. 
All right, so that's 20 feet of in total pressure. Uh, so on the very bottom where you see like that little dice tray. Oh, yeah. Uh, click on the D6 symbol, which is the square, twice, and tell it roll. Wait, wait, okay, where am I looking? The, the, the 1 through 10 numpad? Uh, bottom uh, right. Yeah, bottom right. Oh, I don't see anything bottom right. You don't see, like, a pyramid, a square? All right. You see the 1 through 10 numpad thing? Yes. That has, like, a little folder off to the left side? Yes, lock hotbar. All right, continue going to the right. Okay. You'll see, like, the... Do you see the chat opened up? No. Where it says, you did Eldritch Blast? No, I don't see a chat. Do you see a thin little bar that has, like, a chat bubbles, a sword... A, oh, okay, a hold on. I, hold on. Okay, I must have closed the chat window. Okay, I see it now. All there right. you go. I had I, I closed it. Okay, so hit... What did you say, D6? Yep, D6 twice. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm considering that enough pressure to pretty much put an indent into the his sarcophagus there. So that is six points of bludgeoning damage. There you go. Now you may continue with your turn. All right. So I think that's it for spells, and then I, my imp could go up and do his little sting on him or a little attack, right? Mm-hmm. So how do I do that? So, so yeah, because they got like 40 <laughs> feet of movement. Yeah, which yeah. that's plenty. And uh, oh, uh, if you click on the imp's token once and press C or I, it should summon up its ah, character. Okay. I see it. Okay. And then you continue like normal with your like it was your character sheet. Okay. So it just does a sting. That'll hit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. That's six piercing. And I believe there's something melt to the hat. Oh, yeah, I don't know why the other dice rolled. Yes, that is for the constitution that I must make. If I fail the constitution, uh, the target takes 3d6 poison damage on a failed or half ah. on a successful one. Okay. So that's so. it for me. Alright. Grab me a moment. Con save! I pass. Now, double check with its thing. Alrighty. So, information-wise, your sting does well for it is a magical imp. But the poison does not settle at all. You can gather with this that it is immune to poison damage. Okay. And then uh, I guess I guess it should do invisibility before it. Because that's a, that's a bonus act? No, that's an action. Okay, can't do that. Okay. Alright, so then do I have to do something to pass my turn or end my turn? Nope, just gotta make the statement. Okay. Five, two, three, four, five. Poke. How is my... How's my... Hmm. What's up? It was like... I forgot I haven't resetted my, uh... My poke. So I was still trying to target that skeleton. Oh. <laughs> Hep. You are out of range, sir. What do you mean? That's right. <laughs> 13 will hit. Wow. With another 13. All right. Okay. Oh, that's not going to hit. 11 just hits. Oh. Alrighty. Beep. Me. Just so your little imp can get away if need be. 
That's fair. Otherwise, that's turn for you. Yes. All right. <laughs> My turn. Um, it's uh, it's small enough. I could. I couldn't. I could. I couldn't. Hmm. Let's see here. I do that. in itself. And its movement is 20 feet, so... 5, 10. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Get poked. <laughs> All right. That. Half damage. All right. Otherwise, that's it for you for that reaction. Yep. All right. Fine. Dreadful glare. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Yeah, you should be able to make it. It's eleven. <laughs> 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 Alright, that'll be the end of its turn. Alright, I'm uh, just so that way the mummy and the imp don't get too confused, I'm gonna make a small little adjustment for them. There we go. Alright, top of the round, Grayson. Or Gray Mason. Yep, we'll, uh, we'll blast him again. Alrighty. You got this! Oh, yeah, that's gonna hit. <laughs> And he's done. See, your eldritch blast just go through his uh, chest and made a, uh, a nice crater as it then turns to dust and falls <laughs> to the ground. All right. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which way you want to go? I guess left, right? Uh, your choice. Yeah, I think the right looks like it's a dead end, or it's from where we came. <laughs> but you probably should go first. <laughs> there we go. Having a hard time moving? I was for a weird little bit. Hmm, that's not good. I think it's just due to a weird collision. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright. Freedom of movement is as... Oh, I see. It did, it did have a little passageway this way. Okay. <coughs> Alrighty. So, so it looks like we could go up, up over there, or behind us. Um, I'm good. Just keep going to the right if you want. Yeah. All right. New initiative. As a mummy has now made its presence. <laughs> wow really that... alright Grey Mason you get to start us off again alright so that's 45 feet that is no problem to just, just get to work mm. oh god oh my god <laughs> yeah that's gonna hit <laughs> Right, my screen kind of ref, like kind of flashed, reset a little bit. Hmm. Like it went dark for a second. Do I you see still? I, stuff still. Like I see the windows, 
But I don't see the map. I, I think I'm still target. I could still do this, and maybe it'll, like, come back. But, like, the dice is hard to see. Like, it's all shadowed. Well, 13 will hit, and you got a 12 on your damage with that one. All right. You may have to perform a refresh. All right. Uh, do that would be F5. Ah, yeah, there we go. Oh, then I gotta go back in this. Oop. Ah. Grant me a moment. Activate. There okay. you go. And I can see again. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I hit twice. I know it did do the, the pushback twice. If yep. you don't against the wall. Um, and then I think for this, because there's so much space, we'll leave the. I'll have. I'll tell you what, my imp will just do uh, invisibility for now and move, move move up a little bit. Okay. Um, <laughs> wait, I don't want to select just it. Oops, I didn't mean it to go to. I have to unselect myself. Yeah. Yep. You can uh, control Z to undo your movement there. Okay. There you go. All right, and how then, do I. Uh, how do I unselect? Uh, pick a random spot off to the side of your token, click and drag to where you see like a yellow square and just release. Ah, okay. Cool. Alright, so yeah, the imp, he'll just come up. Come up. Right? Yeah, how about we'll go, we'll, we'll go right, right here and, and then just go invisible. Alright. Okay, and that'll be it for me. Alright. Alright. The mummy's turn. Oh, by the way, that 2d6. 8 points, so 4 points. There we go. What's the side? Yep, can't see your imp. Alright. 5, 10, 15. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. <laughs> I, I, I have to have that one space in between. <laughs> 13, yeah, that'll hit. 14 points, so yeah. Alright. Otherwise, that's it for you? For your reaction? Yeah. Alright, just wanted to make sure. Fine, seeing as how I can't hit you, I'll glare at you. How about that? How about no? <laughs> You're gonna see the mummy just kinda do like those, uh, just blinking a couple of times, like, really? <laughs> so, what, what would that do if you missed the save? If you miss the save, you become frightened. If you fail by five, you become paralyzed. Oh, okay. Until you make the save another round? Uh, until the end of its next turn. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Anderson, you're up. See how I can't hit you. <laughs> eh. You heard. Get poked. <laughs> 24, yeah, that's going to hit. Nine points, all right. Yep. Oh. That's going to hit. Yes, but I don't like to see them no numbers. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I'm still alive. Oh, you moved. Oh, that was lame as crap. <laughs> on my end. <laughs> That's so hovered around my 19. It's like, eh, no. <laughs> that, to me, it looked like it hovered around a 13. <laughs> but yeah, a uh, 9? No, that's not going to hit. <laughs> Anything else, or is that it for you? Uh. 
Let uh, me just get her here. Uh, Alright, I'm going to take my first attack there. So my uh, nine points of damage. Okay. And I'm going to re-roll that. Uh, piercer. Oh, thank you. I'm just like, wait a right. minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I figured that will happen. There you go, you can have uh, a little bit more health back. Alright, uh, what was it? Nine versus six? Yeah. Okay. So. Like, two, I think. No, that's no. a one point. That's a one yeah. point plus. Do, do mummies heal on hit? No, he did a piercer, which uh, as a as a feat, um, if you you can uh, call out for your feature uh, to pretty much replace a die, but you oh. have to use the second one. So oh, because okay. his nine now becomes three, he uh, basically resetting the numbers. Okay. <laughs> yep. So he gets essentially one hit point back because. Uh, half a feature, or half a thing. Yeah, that was a bit rude of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Quick, zap him! <laughs> Otherwise, that's turn for you? Uh, yes. Alright, Grey Mason, what you can see in regards to this mummy, it is rearing back to go to Slug Anderson. Alright, well, we'll just keep doing the same thing, then. Oh, my God. That's going to hit oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that should knock it back 10 feet, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so 13 points, 10 feet back. And then we'll do it again. <laughs> 10, that's a miss. Okay. And then I suppose the imp should probably wake up now and <coughs> help. Right. <laughs> Although I don't see it to click either now. Uh, might be because of the invisibility. Grant me a moment. Most certainly is. Ah, there you there go. Is. Okay. Yeah, so he'll <coughs> go up there and um, mm -hmm. do, uh, let's do his normal thing. Yeah, that's going to hit. Ding, ding. Yeah, and that's going to take it down the rest of the way. <coughs> Ow! <laughs> and it's also going to disappear in a puff of smoke. It only had one hit point left. Alright, that's the end of that combat. You have freedom of movement now. Okay. So we can go up or down, it looks like. Um, you want to go, I'll go up. It looks like that's kind of the away from where we started. Yeah. We can. <laughs> All right. In. Ooh. Ah. I, gotta, I can only move my imp if I see him, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help you out with him. Okay. All right, so in this room, you can see in the center, there is a lever. Um, shall I use my mage hand to pull it? You could. Unless you want to go pull I it. Wouldn't be, I wouldn't be against it. All right. Well, let's, I'm going to scoot back a little bit. Okay. It looks like a trap that I can't resist. And then I just gotta find my mage hand. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's pull the lever. All right. Your ha mage hand goes to pull, and you can <clears throat> see the mage hand itself is struggling. With the weight of ten pounds, it is not enough to uh, pull this lever. Um. All right. Well. Do you want to leave it alone, or do you want to pull it? 
We could pull it. All right, go for it. I'll stay back here. All right, athletics, please. Eighteen. That is enough. From uh, you pulling the lever there, it does uh, shimmy to the other side. You can feel rumbling beneath your feet, and uh, settled sands from above begin to slowly descend. After a little bit, the rumbling does stop. And that is it. Nothing Neat. appears to have happened. Okay. Would you say that this imp has a personality? Um, no. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, stairways that are going down. Four statues facing towards the stairway. Hmm. <laughs> And what was about it? This is a chest. Uh, that is a uh, podium, essentially. Oh, okay. Uh, nice decorated podium <laughs> with uh, glistening <laughs> gold pieces and a statue of a centaur. Hmm. Okay. And both of these go down. Yeah. All right, you want to go down? Sure. Make you go down. All right. <clears throat> All righty. Get the imp to follow. There we go. All right. From here, you can see the uh, same centaur statue with a plaque in front of it. In additional, you can see four other statues. Um, as you guys do come down from right there, the four statues do come to life. Grant me a moment, and I shall make them invisible. And da -da -da -da. And we can Whoa. have... So this is gonna suck. <laughs> <coughs> So these are just statue, statues of centaurs, you said? Uh, these are statues of men. The only one that's a centaur is this one right here. Okay. And that one's not moving at all. Okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead and throw yourselves into initiative. As I get these four in there as well. <coughs> wow. Man, you are hot tonight for the dice. Alrighty. Well, all right. Go for it. All right. First thing, we're just gonna scoop behind you again. Target this guy. We'll just see how this works out. All right. With a couple of shots on him. Sixteen, that will hit with fifteen points of damage. Alright. <coughs> and it didn't kill him, so we'll hit him again. Right. <coughs> with fourteen, fourteen just hits with eleven points. That actually <coughs> takes him right out. Okay. That's just enough. <laughs> then uh, we'll have the imp. Oops. We have the imp. Mm hmm. Um, let's go to work on this one back here. All right. Oops. Oh, this is blocked by a wall. <coughs> yep, no worries. Uh,. Untarget and tell it to do the sting. Okay. Uh, 
23? Yeah, that'll hit. Right. Constitution saving throw. That's a fail. So it takes four points plus the 12. That's Still up, though. Nice. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right. This one's going to move a little bit. And it's going to go after your imp because it's the closest thing there. One attack. <clears throat> Six to hit. Imp's uh, 13 armor class. Yep, so that's a miss. And that's all that it's going to do. This one. It's going to move. Poke. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's going to no. You are not coming closer. I don't know you. <laughs> oh. oh, max damage. Oh no, piercer feet. I get an additional D10. Nice. <laughs> so that should be yeah. Twenty-five altogether. Nice. Still up though. <laughs> all right, and that's all it can do. Five feet. Ten, fifteen, twenty. <laughs> Twenty-five. But well, hi there. Sucker punch! It's a shame I couldn't poke you either. <laughs> Fourteen? This is... Ah! And that's all that it can do. It can only do one attack. Anderson, your turn. Cool. I'm gonna target that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna target past him? <laughs> 25, yeah, that'll hit. Nine points. He's done. Sixteen, yeah, that'll hit. Twelve points. Okay, okay, still up. Slap. Gently caresses, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Double that one. Yep. Gently caressed. <laughs> Otherwise, that's turn for you. Yep. Alrighty. Gray Mason, your turn. Alright, we'll target this guy and blast him away. <coughs> Try to get him off. Uh huh. 23, that'll hit. 13, nice. Still up. Alright, I'm just gonna get down a little bit in one more shot. Okay. Ten, that's gonna be a mess. Alright. Alright, then our imp up top here will do mm -hmm. its bite or uh, sting. Oh, I have to I have to do this. Sixteen. And yeah, that'll hit. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! All right. So from the seven, still up, but from the thirteen, that takes it out. All right, and I guess the imp will just kind of come hang with me again, and that'll be it. All right. This one's turn. Haha. <laughs> Can't get me now. <laughs> Slam attack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a shame. That just misses. What? <laughs> <laughs> Got the, the legendary armor of plot armor. <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> 
Ooh, three points. <laughs> yeah, I see it right there. <laughs> Try to crap with me. <laughs> all right. And that's all that it can do. So, Anderson, your turn. Oh. Ooh. So that's a 25 point shot right here. And yeah, that's that's a that's a done. <laughs> and that's also the end of our initiative. Well done. <coughs> hmm. What are you thinking? There's a little light to the right. Can we see that? Yeah. Ooh, Above in this uh, room, you can see a visible hole upward. <coughs> Wait, which way? Like the stairs to the south, you're saying? A hole? A hole. Oh. Straight up. It's in the ceiling. So what's it look like? Anything? Just like daylight? Um, no, it is dark up there. As far as I can see with the dark vision, it's just darkness? Uh, you can see uh, that there is a ceiling because you should have 60 feet. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see a ceiling up there, and it looks like it's a good uh, 15 feet. <clears throat> okay. And, and these things are just uh, are statues, or? Statues of centaurs, yep. They love their centaurs. You ready, Anderson? Yeah. Just uh, let me move that stuff real quick. Sorry. All right. So from in this room, you can see a statue of a serpent that is looking in a particular <clears throat> direction. Uh, essentially, it's a uh, it is going outward. Huh. Let me double check in regards to your. Anybody got perception or insight? Perception of two. My perception is eleven. Okay, you can tell that the snake is looking there, and the eyes are rubies, and they are given a glow to them. <laughs> oh, can you get, grab my imp? Oh, yes, I certainly can. Uh, it, it's somewhere. I got it. We'll, we'll, you, we'll stick our imp on that spot, see if it gets zapped. <laughs> All right, the imp is going to fly right there. Looking at the statue, nothing appears <clears throat> to have happened. Huh. All right. There's a hallway this way. Okay. Oh, down here too. Okay. And I guess right there too. Books and scrolls scattered around. Lots of them are pretty much in ruin. Yet there are plenty more yet to still be collected. Otherwise, nothing notable of value.
Alrighty. Oop, grab me a moment here. Da, da, da. Get your imp out right there. And there's <laughs> that. Remove. I said remove. Thank you. <laughs> there. <laughs> Alright, so from in here... I'd rather have it restrained. Thank you very much. I'm sure you would. You can see three intellect devours. You have taken, and they have taken notice of your presence. Though, Anderson. No, 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 no. I was about to say Anderson might be questionable, but no. <laughs> he, he's noticed too. Time for a new initiative. No, no let's stop. <laughs> All righty. Uh... <coughs> All right. All right, this one's going to run down five ten. Let's see. It's going to target you there. Uh, Great Mason. All right. And it does have a multi-attack. First one we're going to do is get the claws out of the way. 19 to hit. All right. With seven points of slashing. Next up is the Devour Intellect. Alrighty, now I need an intelligence save. Or otherwise you'll be taking uh, nine points of psychic damage. Okay, so I just click on the... Oops, what did I just do? Let's click on that. Mm -hmm. Save it. <clears throat> that is considered a fail, so you take nine points of psychic damage. Uh, one, two, and three. Now, uh, in regards of how this works, the intellect of our uh, after if the target fails, I roll three d six. If I match or succeed your intelligence score, the intellect of our will essentially disappear and teleport in your brain, and it will consume it. Um, well, that's no good. <laughs> Let's see if I can. Uh, Surprisingly close. <laughs> <laughs> so this time around, it does fail to <clears throat> essentially snatch your body. Uh, and that's all that it can do for this turn. Anderson? I cannot move. Right. Thank you. Two, three... I don't like that one. Oh, do I need to do I need to adjust my hit points? Uh, for the damage, yeah. Uh, what you can do is you can right click uh, to where you see your uh, sixty six right there. Mm -hmm. uh, highlight that. You could probably just click it once, tell it negative, however much, and then tell it enter, and it'll do the rest for you right there. All right. So I took sixteen, <laughs> right? Uh, nine psychic and seven. So yeah, 16 points in total. <laughs> okay. There you go. Good. Good yeah. on your end? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Pike being a 24. Yeah, that'll hit. Hmm. Yeah, eight points. Eight points is going to hit. Seventeen. Uh, double check with it. Yeah, that should hit. Yep. Seven points. Of... Okay, okay. I'm still alive! I consume brain. I consume your brain, particularly. Ow. <laughs> Ow. 
Yeah, that one's done. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <laughs> Goes flying. <laughs> Splats right on the wall. Slowly sliding down. <laughs> All right. Two is better than three. Let's keep it up. <laughs> uh, any other movement? Uh, no. No? Okay. Alrighty. Five, ten, fifteen. Okay. Right there, my dude. <laughs> what do you mean right there? You've been allowing me for right there. Also, what's your range? Ten feet. Ten feet? Okay, so it is right there. Alright, that's... That's fair. <laughs> gotta, gotta save my dudes. Yep, yep. Oh, so close. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. 15 points. All right, that, that'll definitely deal some damage there. <laughs> All right, anything else? Not for a reaction. All right. And it can't do anything from right there, so... Great Mason. Okay, let's uh, see if we can finish this one off. <laughs> 25, yeah, that'll hit with six points. <laughs> six points right on the dot. <laughs> is, it how much, is it alive still? <laughs> no, it's it's dead. You reduce it to zero. <laughs> all right. And all right. All right. Last two. <laughs> Seventeen. Yeah, that'll hit. With six points. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. And then the imp, I think. Should be able to make it in there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 16, yeah, that'll hit. Let's see if I can find... Okay, yep, con save. Wow! All right, so that's going to be 5 points of piercing and 11 points of poison. How's it doing? It is done. Woo! And that's the end of that one. I'm just doing some work. No kidding. Alright, freedom of movement. Maybe I should give it a personality. <laughs> yeah, that little dude's doing great. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Alright, so anything special about up here? Uh, nothing notable, but you can tell that it's essentially a bed that is for a that is suitable for a mistress. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so we still gotta go down. I think so. Oh, there's something over to the right. A white light. Ooh, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. And you can hear a little bit of chanting going on from within. All right. Maybe we won't just like barge in this time. <laughs> we'll send the imp in first. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Anyone understand deep speech? Um, deep speech. 
Well, I have the thing that I can do a telepathic link to get any language, but I think that's like I have to see it and select it. <clears throat> well, according to this here, your character knows uh, deep speech. Oh, okay. Cool, I know that then. Yeah. So, uh, you can tell in regards to this deep speech, it is essentially a chant for uh, spellcasting. Possibly. Let me double check. Yes, you are proficient with Arcana. It is essentially a dispelling chant. Takes a bit of a process, but it, it is that. Okay. Well, that looks like a bad guy over there. It does. Um, and there's little glowy things on the side. Uh, those are also brazers. They are burning a bluish flame. An arcane uh, color. And the, the, the bad guy 45 feet away from me, they don't notice us yet? They don't notice you. It seems pretty occupied. Otherwise, you can tell that this is a mind flare. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, I guess we send the imp in and go kill it, and then we can just sit back and watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if we attack now, we get surprise, right? Yes. All right. I think I'm in range. I don't think the thing in the middle is going to block line of sight. It looks like... Uh... No, it shouldn't. Okay. All right. Those are just little pots and okay. such. All right. <clears throat> well... I guess I'll... Wait, a Mind Flare. Do they heal? Do, do we know if they heal? I don't um, think so. No. Okay. It, it, I, have an, I have an idea. What's your idea? Yeah, I don't think they heal. Oh. Arcana being 11. That's unsuccessful. Based off uh, uh, the simplicity that a Mind Flare CR rating is that of a 7, therefore your DC would need to be a 17. Yeah, I, I don't think it has regeneration. Okay. Then I'll just blast it. <laughs> oh. And my, uh, my screen went all white again. You may have to uh, F5 it. Okay. And then from right there, we can essentially start up our, whoops, start up initiative. Yep, but he gets a full attack, though, don't he? Oh, yeah, he will. Okay. And he did roll. He rolled one. Yeah, yep, he gets one more because Eldritch so Blast is not be... currently support WebGL rendering, which is required by Foundry. Ensure that you have hardware rendering for WebGL enabled. I don't know why that comes up now. Oh, no, it's weird. That is weird. Because <laughs> yeah, I'm in Chrome. Yeah, Chrome should run fine. And it's saying what? Okay, so I'm going to do it one more time. Reload. So it says your browser does not currently support WebGL rendering, which is required by Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Ensure that you have hardware rendering and WebGL enabled in your browser. It's like a little warning prompt. Uh, yellow? Uh, red. Red, no, that's not good. That's not good. All right, no. give me a few seconds. If it's yellow, you can usually... All right, uncaught in promise. There it is. And like I have all the, the like the um, chat and stuff, but I don't like the main play space is like all dark. Yep, yep. Grant me a few seconds. Um, I'm going to do a uh, good refresh on my end, so that way connections essentially being reestablished. Alrighty, you may have to perform a refresh on your end one more time. Okay. <coughs> Otherwise, I think I knew where that one might be coming from. I think that's. Uh, yeah, this looks better. Okay. 
Yep, I am. Uh, I am back. Sweet. You do get one more Eldritch Blast because Eldritch Blast is two beams. Okay. Twenty-two. Did I already have it do damage? No, I did not. All right. So. Okay. Here comes the second one. Thirty twenty. All right. <laughs> Fourteen points. Yeah, that that's also gonna hit. All righty. Because it does the imp have a chance to go in and hit too? Uh, if it's got the movement, it's currently forty-five feet away. Oh, um, where do I see move? Oh, it's only got. Okay, it, it can fly to forty. Yeah. Okay. So it'd just be one square off. So unless if you were trying to get it to oh, fly I see. toward, yeah. Okay, then that's. So I'll just go that far. <laughs> All right. Uh, Anderson, did you want to perform movement before full on initiative? Uh, how close can I get? Your regular movement. Okay. Good one. Three, four, five. Yeah, I'll probably go right there. That's fair. All right. Uh, Gray Mason, I need initiative roll from you. <laughs> We're doing great on initiatives. <laughs> we are. <laughs> See, you got those ones out of the way in the first fight. Yeah, and I'm the I'm the one taking the ones here. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll just blast it a couple more times. <laughs> that's probably no. Uh, eleven? No, that's a miss. All right, and the second. Yeah, that's going to hit. Another six points. <laughs> All right, and then it's a real hero here. Yep, the imp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got to move up a little bit. Yep. Okay. There you go. Jesus! <laughs> this imp! Alright, let me double check on uh, resistance and immunities. Alright, oh, it's gonna make the con save. Alright, 10, and it's 11, so that's a fail. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. And then your poison. Oh, yep, just normal on that. Ow. All right. I think that's it for your. Uh... Yep. All right. All right, Anderson, your turn. This thing turns around. What is going on? Why do I keep getting hit in the back? Turn around, the thing looks at you. Just oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five more points. Fight back! Fight back! This man just got jumped. <laughs> <laughs> Mind flares down. It's like, nope, no, nope, I'm just gonna lay right here and, and just uh, die. <laughs> That's the end of that. Too. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's the, yeah, that's the end of that one. And you, you can uh, feel in regards of uh, this necromantic or uh, sorry, the air of necromantic energy has essentially died 
down. It's not completely gone, but it has com- it has died down quite a bit. <laughs> so what were the, 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 so the, the two things where it killed the necromancer and what was the second thing? Uh, it was find, undo, or destroy whatever is causing this whole undead. Uh, <laughs> uh, pretty much coming to life and shit like that. Okay. So do we think this was the per- like they were doing a, or is this just still not the final guy? Um. <laughs> were they supposed to be a lot harder? They said. I'm thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> Choices were made. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, little savior. <laughs> um, and who says uh, familiars are not OP? <laughs> you just gotta know how to use them. <laughs> Ooh, a library. Mm-hmm. So, yep, a library filled with books and scrolls. Nothing notable within here that is of uh, importance. Um, four statues do face uh, each other, uh, essentially diagonal. Hmm. Oh god! What? <laughs> Is there any like that searching for secret passages or? Uh, there can be. Uh, you're not in the right area for it, though. Uh, da, 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 da. You're close. You're somewhat close to some, but uh, yeah. All right, let's look for it, because it's like a dead end. Let's look around this room real well for secret passages. All right. Uh, essentially, with enough time, uh, you are confident that this area has no secret passages. Okay. <clears throat> Should we look back in this room? We can. This will do. Let's do a quick secret passage check in here too. All right. With a to make thorough... you feel to make you feel better. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I did a real good job on that one. Yeah, I, I'm nothing. <laughs> yep. Just a. <laughs> no, no, this room doesn't have no uh, secret passages. Okay. You are pretty confident that there's nothing here. Okay. I keep thinking this is a, a slime. No, no, it's just a <laughs> just a statue. <laughs> Come on, catch up, catch up. There we go. More statues. It yeah, statue of the Cenotar. Uh, <laughs> huh. The Centaur. Yeah, must be part of the centipede family. <laughs> Alright, we got another glowy room. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you can see is a mummy that looks like it's uh, (laughs) doing some preparations while also chanting, and on the other side, you can see a portal that is open. Uh, This mummy has not taken notice of you, so you may uh Take the opportunity, if you wish, to do what you know, whatever you'd like. <laughs> all right, let's blast it, I suppose. <laughs> all right, all right. Get my initiative, just in case if it does manage to survive the the barrage <laughs> as you guys have been rolling. Okay, it, it might, it might. Thirteen, yeah, okay, yeah, that that that'll hit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe I stand corrected. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, and then the imp. <laughs> imp is gonna fly in. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, that's a mess. All right. All righty. Poke. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. Let's see if I can find it here. Oh, yeah. Ten points. Ten points. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> 16, yeah, that'll hit. Poke. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that it? Pink. <laughs> Waves. <laughs> this mummy's just going to turn around and look at you. Rude. <laughs> All right, time to roll for initiative. <laughs> I have high confidence. Hey, 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 I'm high and this is where I'm going to realize I'm at the... Okay, no, no. Wow. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Anderson, you get to start us out this time. Don't want to toot my own horn or anything, <laughs> but, uh... Oak. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> Nine points. You gotta try to use your piercer. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's better. So. Negative six. All right. He could have so not told me that, and I would have never not realized it. <laughs> I try to be fair. 21, yeah, that'll hit. Alright, alright. I'm, I'm still alive! Oh god! <laughs> Slap! <laughs> okay, I'm still up! Good! Ready for round two? My what? turn's done. <laughs> like, like, granted, I could overkill. <laughs> Just go action search. <laughs> I, I finally get a turn. I finally get a turn. All right, let's try the gla dreadful glare. You're not frightened. Okay, I'm you have some gonna... pretty eyes. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> 14 to hit. Nope. <laughs> alright, alright. Well, that's all that the mummy can do. <laughs> Great Mason, your turn. Okay. You know, a couple of times that I've played uh, this one shot, it's been pretty decent. And uh, yeah, this one's been kind of very one sided for me. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, it's still hilarious for my end, but at least... <laughs> oh, another eight points, alright, alright, you got one more Eldritch Blast right there. It's probably going to be the one. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit, let's, let's see that 12. No, 12, no, 15! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my imp is so sad, he didn't get to <laughs> finish it off. <laughs> Somehow I could just see the imp just going down onto the floor and using its stinger right there. Just go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just for good measure. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the end of our combat. All right. And after defeating this mummy because of uh, triggering effects, the portal does actually <laughs> close up. And the rest of the necromantic uh, air uh, does cease. I will say, I think this is actually the quickest uh, one shot I've ever seen people do. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so where do we want to explore? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is by far what I was most worried about. Like, oh great, we're, there's only two of us. We're going to get decimated. Nope. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> so is that it? We we could go over it up. And that concludes my first outing in Dungeons and Dragons 5e, The Sands of Oblivion. 
apparently imps are really good, or I rolled really lucky. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and see you in the next one.